Hey, what's up everybody? This is Camden. I hope that you're having an awesome day right now. I just completed another milestone in the HTML coding world and had another amazing breakthrough in my coding journey. And first of all, before I get into that, I have to say thank you all so much for the support and the encouragement for my previous video in the comment section. So, sleep chop. I'm really glad that you are also beginning your coding journey and I'm thankful for you being able to continue our line of communication here on YouTube. It means a lot to me. What would you do 64? Very thankful for your message, sharing your journey here on YouTube, that you've been able to stay with your wife in the Philippines simply from me uploading my videos about the online TEFL world. And I pray and I hope that you can continue to grow and prosper in whatever you decide to do with your life. Nomadic Danny, it's awesome to see that your journey has also started here in the TEFL world in Thailand. Keep inspiring people with your videos and keep moving forward with your journey. Thank you. Next, Sleepy3111. What an amazing message this is. And I appreciate you so much for taking the time to write that message and to think about me as I'm thinking about you right now. I'm praying for you. And I, I pray that you have just an amazing 2022 this year. Let all the blessings flood into your life and all the people that you love. Next, JH, as you have been following my journey here on YouTube for years, the inspiration, the motivation that I give you, well, you give it right back to me. And I'm so thankful that you decided to share your message with us in the comment section as well about beginning your journey into the EMT world. And I pray for you that you can keep going and moving forward every single day, getting stronger and stronger and believing in yourself and having faith that you can get it done. And I believe that you can get it done. So keep going and never give up on yourself. Neil Robinson had no idea that you're also in the coding world. Thank you for sharing and taking the time to write the message in the comment section. And let me know how I can reach out to you if I have some questions about HTML or CSS or JavaScript. I hope that this year you can also continue to prosper and continue to bring all the abundance into your life. Thank you, Neil. Next, Arlet Leo. You have been with me for quite some time on my YouTube video journey. And thank you every time that you have taken time out of your day to write a comment, a little simple thank you, a, a message of support, a message of encouragement. It's messages from people like you that motivate me to keep going. And thank you so very much. Next, Peter Deneke, or Peter, Peter, thank you so much for sharing your journey as well with us on YouTube. I really appreciate it. And I hope and pray that things go amazingly well beyond your imagination on pre-ply. And hope you can take the time to answer my question. Thank you. And to Jabbar in New York, you've been a great blessing as well on this YouTube journey in the comment section. And hey, you know, I have been uploading videos about online teaching, online TEFL and just the TEFL world in general. And I'm not completely saying goodbye to the teaching world. I love teaching. I love helping people. It's something that is just ingrained in my DNA. And I love to share my journey and my experience and what I've learned along the way. So I hope to see you continue watching these videos on YouTube. And anytime that you have questions about teaching abroad or teaching online or just the TEFL world, let me know. I'll be happy to answer you. Thank you so much. And Julie S., every time I see your profile pic, your messages throughout all the time, the months, even the years, as I go back into previous videos on YouTube from years ago, I see your comments and I see your messages. I see your support. I see your encouragement. So I hope that you can keep shining beautiful like the sun. Have a wonderful day. And thank you all so much. If I missed anybody, Please excuse me. I will take the time to get back to you with all within due time. So, yes, I did have another mouse completed another milestone and had another amazing breakthrough. And that's just a little thing and not just about the coding world, not just about teach the teaching world, but life in general. 
because each day there's, there's nothing worth doing if it's easy. If everything was just easy, then we would all just stay the same. We'd all just be like a flat bar, but that's not the way life is. Life is always changing. Life is always evolving. Our bodies, physically, our minds, mentally, and inside ourselves, spiritually, we're always transforming. We're always in a process. We're always in a step to becoming better than we were the day before. And allow these videos, allow my voice to shine into your life today. Go out and make something happen. Do something that you've never done before. Change up your routine. If you keep experiencing the same things every day, well, take a look at what you're doing. Get a notebook, start to write down stuff. Rip out a sheet of paper, make a note, put it on your wall. Make notifications, make reminders on your, your technological um, tools. And then get a notebook so you can write down your goals, have a vision board, start to write down your dreams. Ever since I came back to Thailand and decided to make a huge decision with my life to let go of unnecessary habits that were holding me back for years, now my whole dream world has opened up. And within those dreams that are, yes, subconsciously, but at the same time, there's some spiritual meanings and there's also hidden messages in our dream world. And we have to be open to that. And we have to be able to take the time in the middle of the night or early in the day when we wake up from those dreams to write them down. And then we can actually manifest our visions. We can actually manifest our dreams. And when things happen in our dreams that, say, that, may, that may seem ugly, that may seem scary, that may seem frightening or terrifying, that's a wake up call to us. Perhaps we need to change our life. We need to change our habits, our behaviors, the way we talk to ourselves. The most important conversation that we'll ever have in our life is the conversations that we have with ourselves every day. And the more that we can improve our conversations with ourselves, the better our communication will be with other people, whether that be family, whether that be friends, people online that we're networking with. So each and every day, when you wake up, start with some gratitude, even though it's not easy sometimes. And remember, life doesn't get easier. We just get stronger. We have to become mentally tough. And the best way to do that is through physical endurance, physical stamina. When we test ourselves physically, whether that's going to the gym, going out for a walk, 15 minute walk, going for a run, exercising, yoga, some type of fitness, then we can become stronger physically. And when we push ourselves physically, then we can become stronger mentally. And then over time, you'll start to realize you're living not only a better life, but you're living your life to your highest potential. And guess what? Potential is infinite because our lives, yes, we can follow our destiny. And as soon as we start to open up our lives to our destiny, you start to realize that, whoa, there are no limits in this life. The only limitations that, we put, that, that are real are the limitations that we actually believe. So what we believe over a long period of time, the faith-based actions that we decide to take upon ourselves and the way that we think, the way that we behave and the way that we believe in ourselves, and what we can do and most importantly, how we can plant those seeds into other people and make a difference in other people's lives. We can change people's lives. And as we change other people's lives, yes, we can become better. And yes, we do become the greatest versions of ourselves. So that's it for today on YouTube. Thank you all so much for allowing me to spend some time with you today. I appreciate your time. Thank you for your energy. And you know what? Because energy is time. Because every time that we give something, we give time to something, we're giving our energy. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your energy. Let's all be more appreciative of what we have because tomorrow is not promised. We don't know what can happen to us health-wise. That's why it's so important to remain grateful for everything that we have each and every day. Much love to you and many blessings. Thank you. Amen.